I'm Nate Eaton in Brigham City, Utah, where the man accused of killing Dylan Rounds appeared in this courthouse Monday afternoon. James Brenner is charged with aggravated murder and desecration of a human body. He limped into the courtroom wearing an orange jumpsuit, handcuffs and cuffs around his ankles. His attorney asked Judge Brandon Maynard for co-counsel to be appointed in this case. Dylan's parents, Candace Cooley and Justin Rounds, were in the courthouse along with some other extended family members. Brenner was charged in March for Dylan's death, although there has been no discovery of his body. Dylan is still missing. He vanished a year ago over Memorial Day weekend in the remote town of Lucen, Utah. He was farming in the desert area when he vanished and since then his parents have been working tirelessly to bring their son home. I asked what they thought when Brenner walked in the courtroom this afternoon. He's despicable. Uh, his whole act of limping around, it's, it's a complete act. It's not real. Um, I don't know if it's so he thinks we think he's going to die and make him in some sort of deal or what, he but wants to people to feel sorry he for just him. wants people to feel sorry for him and it's it's all an act. What did you think, Justin, when he walked in? Same thing. He just looks for attention to have people feel sorry for him. That's all I think. He's, it's an act. Now, Brenner is also facing federal charges in addition to the charges here in Box Elder County that are related to Dylan's death. That means any time Box Elder County wants to hold a hearing with James Brenner here in this courthouse, they have to get the feds approval and that can take six weeks. So this has been a drawn out process that is frustrating Dylan's parents. The next court appearance is scheduled for July 31st when a preliminary hearing will be decided on whether to hold that preliminary hearing hearing or whether that hearing will not be held. Of course, we will continue to stay up on top of it as Dylan's parents continue to search for any sign of their missing son. Reporting in Brigham City, Utah, I'm Nate Eaton, EastIdahoNews.com.